Welcome back, people of YouTube. Um, this is Lizard Dead's bringing you a new MMORPG called Skyforge. Now, this game is a uh, um, basically another one of the dungeon cards I'm talking about. You have to enter dungeons, and it also has its own open world aspect, as in um, when you go to like the main towns, it's you can see probably like you know if you're in a busy town, like 50, 60, 70 people. So that's pretty cool. Um, th now. What I'm doing here is I'm showing you like all the different options for uh, your starting character. Now, I already have a character on here. They don't allow, allow you to make multiple characters. And the main reason is because this game, you can play any class you want at any time. Now, I don't mean it literally at any time. Like, if you acquire the class, then yes, you can play at any time. You just switch instantly. And then you can switch back and forth as many times as you want instantly. It's really cool in that way. And um, the game is really graphical. I mean, this game is beautiful. Probably one of the best looking... Actually, it is the best MMORPG that I've ever... Good like looking MMORPG that I've ever played. So, I give it that. Now, just for making this part of the video. Just for making all like the hairstyles and showing you guys... All the different looks and everything is four minutes or maybe even six minutes, something like that. For like four minutes long. All right. And there's so many different options and so many different things. Um, this game is, like I said, a dungeon crawler. So the the um like wide open, like the MMO part of it, you know, that makes it seem like there's many people playing with you or no the open worldness as you say is there's certain areas that you enter and it's like open world you kill monsters and do quests and stuff like that um on a map and then there is just straight up dungeons that you go into and the reason why i call it dungeon crawler is because the game is probably 99 percent dungeon uh well i can't say 99 percent. i can say it probably like 80 85 percent dungeon crawler because you're not really in the open areas much besides to finish up the quests um, there's several different face shapes that you can make. Like, you can, I think, literally just customize from down to the nose bone, the cheekbones, and stuff like that. But I decided just to hurry up and change my, uh, features because I didn't want to just take forever. Um, I could have just made my guy and skipped it, you know, but, um, OBS isn't really working that well with me so far. It, like, cuts out, like, it goes all the way to six minutes, and then I can't see any more of the video on my track. Um... So that's the only bad part. So after six minutes, I have to like be able to talk without stopping and making any stupid remarks for a whole like ten minutes, and that is so hard. Oh my gosh. Um. So yeah, right there, the nose shape, <clears throat> the jaw shape, eye color, eye shape, skin color, face shape, hair color, hairstyle. Um. I decided to make my guy look like. To me, it's not exactly a look-alike or whatever, but, you know, like a big bulky man, like Braum a little bit, you know, a big beard. So, I decided to make him like that. There's several different costumes and such that you can end up wearing at any time. You can switch at any time. Now, when you pick up a piece of gear, it does not change your look. The only way it changes your look is your costume that you decide to pick. Um, you can pick headwear, there's masks and glasses, earrings and tattoos right there to the left different clothes and stuff and you can make a guy look virtually however you really want um you know it is every game's going to be limited in that aspect but you know i rarely see people that look the same like i don't think i've ever seen anyone that look exactly the same as someone else so that's something that's pretty cool just because of the variety that they have so at least it makes it unique as in your own character make you unique um i decided to put a tattoo and the main reason why i made and i'm gonna explain exactly why all right so i have green eyes right i'm gonna end up putting on a tattoo that has green on it and i figured hey it matched you know but i couldn't find a green suit like a greenish one everything was mostly like darker green i wanted like a lighter green suit you know couldn't find that so i'm like damn it so i just went with um i think it was like the assassin suit just to show off some muscle um i used to look like a regular old professor you know i had like white hair glasses um and like a little white beard that wasn't really it was more like you know stub stubble so 
yeah right there is the um, outline of my tattoo and I decided to make it green to match my eyes now um, I was thinking about brown because to match my hair but I'm like nah I don't want to put like <clears throat> shit on my face like what the fuck anyways um, they do have plenty of tattoos though um, the scroll of color of tattoos that's pretty cool you can just scroll down uh, the thing that I wish that all games would implement and I don't know how hard it would be just to implement it but like just a color like wheel you know have 99% of the colors on there you know just any color you could pick hue set all that type of shit um, you can even choose how you run you can run very flamboyant or you can run like you're a soldier um, your stance you can stand like you don't give a fuck or you can stand like you're ready to kick some ass see mm. so um, even voice mm. you can do high normal mm. and low and the low mm. sounds like a man the high pitch sounds like mm. a dude in high pitch so there you go there, there that's how you do it my name is Dr. Death by the way so um, most of the games that I play now ever since I made the YouTube channel I made everything deaths if you end up not seeing um, the name deaths it's mainly because um, literally I probably made the account or whatever earlier before I started my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel is very recent and I have hit over 500 views I think because I was four away yesterday and I'm pretty sure I got four views out of like the 30 videos I made so that is awesome I'm so happy so I'm probably gonna end up just making a video just based on 5,000 views I'm probably gonna end up like posting like an iPhone of video of my face or something saying thanks everyone and then posting some gameplay I don't know um, but I do appreciate it so if you could bear with me through this whole video right here I'm going to tell you a bunch of things right here is the atlas okay where as you level up you get points now the points is in my bottom left hand corner as you can see necromancer and then the points 9095 what that means is that's my level basically okay and you can level up um, infinitely as much as you want and then you get classes by leveling all these little bubbles up now these little bubbles will cost like see the 248 orange little crystals right there all right it would might take 120 just to level up a bubble right and then once you level up that bubble you get the points that go to any sort of class no matter what class it is all right so that's that's pretty cool then you end up getting your skills that way a different sort of um, traits and talents and a whole bunch of other things just through that atlas that's the main thing so um, that's that's the pretty cool part about it now I decided that um, I am going to show you some skills so right here is one skill all right right here is the wall of pain um, I can transform myself into the Grim Reaper himself and even use skills during it and um, there's I, I can only show a limited amount unless I'm battling there's someone that I use that if I'm dying and then it just heals me back up to where I was. So uh, there's some chick or dude or whatever it is teasing me. Some other player. Uh, this is a Cryromancer, so there's a, one of the skills. This is the ultimate. Looked pretty damn cool, didn't it? Um, here's the paths and such. So um, I can say that when you start out, you start with three classes. You can either be the Paladin, Lightbinder, or Cryromancer. I started with Cryomancer and then I went to Necromancer. Now I've just been stuck playing Necromancer. Really fun. The only <coughs> downfall of this game, I should say, would have to be how there's a limited amount of skills. You can either choose either or, and they still do almost the same thing, and that's the only bad part about this game. So your own skill lineup will not be, or your own combo is not going to be efficient because almost everyone is going to know it. So it starts making it to where like you're fighting fighting a literal cryomancer rather than hey I'm fighting list of deaths you know like oh I'm just fighting a cryomancer and I know that's like that for a lot of MMOs but I still don't like that you know when I play this game called Decaron you know there are so many skills in that game for each different class that it felt like I made up my own you know skill tree so that right there was my snowball I'm gonna change class again and bam Right here, what am I? Oh, this is my archer that I ended up recently getting, and uh, right before I stopped playing, I stopped playing this game just because of the fact of all this of the skills that they don't have. And I know, sort of like, oh, there's plenty of skills because just look at it, you know, there's plenty of uh, classes. Yeah, but you know, like I said, it's just gonna leave it in the category of uh, category of oh, he's just 
a paladin. Oh, he's just an archer. He's just a cryomancer. You know, that type of thing. It's not like, oh, I'm fighting an actual, like... I don't mean actual person. I mean, like, I'm fighting, I'm fighting someone who can actually make a different combo than what I'm used to. You know? And that's the gist of what I was saying. So, that's the only downfall. Um, other than that, everything is pretty clean besides the fact that there is a limited amount that you can go up per week. And every week, it also increases. So the longer you have your account, you don't even have to log in. Um, the lot, the more you get per week to, um, the more crystals you get to up your score, your um, basically your power score. So uh, you know that's something. Once you get down the line, you're gonna be able to get reap as many as you basically want. And you won't have enough time to get all the stuff. But when you're first starting out, you could probably hit the mark, and I think I even hit the mark pretty easily. So that's the only. That's another bad part I should say um, other than that so it's like a little stamina system other than that um, it's nothing too too bad really I mean there's still plenty to do after you get all your crystals like there's you know stuff to do with your patrolling deity so right here's all the mounts and um, they come in different sort of formats like this one's just regular glider and you got the glider patrol and the glider amethyst the moa the moa wanderer glider fury you know just different sort of skins over the regular one all right and then you got consumables, Pantheon, of all this stuff in buy and sell. This right here is just a regular market. Alright, what else you got? We have, that's just the map. Pantheon right here. Alright, so I end up going back. Uh, Pantheon is basically like a guild, so that's that's uh, about Pantheon. Um, right there's a skill that you can get. Right there's another skill that you can get. And you have to, in order to get them, you spend the crystals. So that's the main part of the game is trying to get as many crystals as you can to level up to go to certain areas um, another reason why this game is falling short over here is all the symbol tree you can get that upgrades part of your things like one might make you run faster if you dodge or something it is action combat so you can dodge literally and it'd be totally fine you know like it's just like a terra dodging I should say um, so that's pretty damn cool so here's the equipment and you get several pieces of equipment per different class you have to put I think every for every class that you use, you have to have a whole other set of armor, basically something something like that. So here's a style room, and it just shows you can change you can not change your facial appearance or any of that any time, but you can change your clothes, headwear, mask, glasses, earrings, and tattoos at any time. All right, so that is something that I do love about this game. And um, like right here, I'm just showing you guys. There's plenty of different costumes, you know, just plenty of them. All right, so. Um, like I was saying a little bit earlier, the main, like, another thing that isn't really too great, um, is that once you get a wide span, like, I'm at 9,000, right? So that means someone could be 135,000, right? Eventually, the dungeons or whatever that you're going into, and this is right here, this I enter a dungeon, as you can see. Um, there's an invasion right there. There's squads, which is one through three people. There's groups, which is five people, four to five people. And then there is um, regions that you go into, and the regions are like the open world type um, version of the MMO. So um, I think I decided to just to wait in battle queue for a little bit. But um, other than that, you know, I was just showing you guys just the world. So yeah, like I was saying though, you have like 130,000 score, right? Next thing you know, you're you won't be able to find many people for different dungeons, and that's what it is happening right now. The when I thought or what I thought was going to be wrong with this game ended up being wrong and I can tell you that it is confirmed because I literally tried joining several different rooms and it took me a long time to actually make this video because of that so sadly um, I'm probably gonna end it here though cuz um, there really isn't much else to talk about if you guys wanna play it, it link is in the description below um, I do appreciate every single view like comment subscribe whatever every other youtuber asks for asks for the same thing and uh, you guys have a great day, alright? Anyways, peace.